<laughs> hey there. We're here at the airport. It is currently 11:30. Or no, I am tired. It is 1:30 in the afternoon, and this person over here decided it was a great idea to just stay awake so we can just be accustomed to the new time when we get to Dublin and Ireland. You're gonna thank me for the entire trip. You're we'll not see. Thank me right now. Because we'll see. You're gonna wait for the reward and the payoff, which will be great. We'll see about that. But uh, till then, we've been here since like what? 11:30. 11 11:15. Yeah, we almost made the mistake of waiting that long for because we thought of we were supposed to take the uh, lift house. L L L Lufthansa? Lufthansa. Lufthansa instead of United. Because that's what it said on our ticket. But apparently we were wrong. Thankfully we asked somebody. But, um, so yeah. Um, we should be boarding about any time now. So. We'll see. We'll have to wait. Hopefully there's no delays. Yep. So we'll see you guys on the other side. Welcome to Frankfurt! For those who don't know German, that means welcome to Frankfurt. So, we're on a uh, connecting flight right now. There's Melanie. And so, we're trying to get to our connecting flight, and it's quite a walk. So, across the entire airport. Yeah, pretty much. And we need to go to B. I feel like we've been walking for like 10 minutes already. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure Frau Vey would be very proud of me since I took German in high school. It's called a vacation, meaning no exercise needed. I don't like <laughs> I don't like these 20 mile hikes. <laughs> Yay. This is so much fun. But I mean, we've been on an airplane for about seven hours, so it's a good stretch of our uh, legs, right? Like eight, yeah. Eight and a half, seven. One. So we're still walking. We just had to go to security and ironically, they stopped me a second time. Melanie, why is that? It wasn't me. It was definitely her. So the first time I was stopped was back in Chicago because I forgot to unpack the uh, DVD player that we decided to take along with us. And then this time we decided to switch bags. And all of her liquid stuff was in my bag that I carried. And apparently they have to be in a Ziploc bag. So, yeah. But finally made it to the gate, so. Dublin, here we come. Alrighty guys, and here we are. We're finally in Ireland, more specifically Dublin. And AJ sucks at the video camera. You're a jerk. Anyways, so we're now just waiting for our baggage claim and hopefully we can get it quickly, get out of here. Uh, I am a little bit afraid though because Melanie's gonna be driving. It's a horrible thing to say. Yeah, but you've never driven on the left side of the road before. So, we're gonna find out what that's like here in a second. Have you? Nope. Okay, so no but complaints. I actually have a couple, I, has, I actually have a profession as a driver though, so thank you. So yeah, we'll see you guys hopefully on the other side. Hi guys, welcome back to AJ's vlog. Um, we've been in Ireland about 15 hours and we've gotten about five hours of sleep. Um, Anyone who knows that's been on a 10 hour flight or more would understand that the flight was nice, pleasant, safe, boring, but not comfortable. So we slept. Sorry guys, nothing too exciting to report today. Uh, we're in the hotel right now, we're getting dinner. Um, lots of lamb, which is going to be exciting. Anything to add, AJ? Mm, the place looks nice. I mean, if you look around, I mean, it's kind of like very quaint, very nice. and. Nice atmosphere, so I have a lot of expectations. It looks good. I'm excited. And we'll show you guys our room next. Sorry, we've been a little lacking in the filming department. Forgive us, but we'll get there. Stick with us. Curse my one hour battery life. So this is our room at 
Prospect Hotel in... Kilkenny. Kilkenny. Ireland. Where are we again? <laughs> Not US. <laughs> so here we are back. <laughs> So here we are at Aspect Hotel. This is going to be our room in Kilkenny, Ireland. Um, we're about to head on out. And once again, we apologize that we didn't really get to show the room before we went to eat. Mm. It's okay, guys. You didn't miss much. Um, so when we booked this uh, trip, we did it through a whole another site, uh, Great Value Vacations. And we got a lot of discounts on everything. So we saved a whole lot of money. Um, but quality-wise, everything is supposed to be on the average spectrum, and um, I don't know where you guys all are from different perspectives watching this, but in the U.S., um, sometimes the standards are kind of low in certain areas, um, and then they're really high in other areas in the U.S. It just kind of depends on how big the city is, and so far, Kilkenny is one of a more populated area, more popular tourist areas for sure. And um, standard-wise, you know, an average here is, you know, I would say a good four in the U.S. typically. So we're paying for a three-star in Kilkenny, but it feels like a four-star back home. Yeah. So a couple of interesting things that I found out was that each of our um, plugs here, like all of the appliances here, doesn't have their switch on them. Morning, tech, nerd, geek, about to enter zone here. Weirdo. True. So, as you can see, there's nothing really on the actual lamp, switch-wise, it's all on the wall. So, I don't know if it's with every um, place here, but uh, I just found it interesting. Hi guys! It's doing the vlog again. So we also just got back from dinner, which was delicious. AJ, what do you think of dinner? I think it was really good. Uh, I ended up having the lamb stew uh, down here at the hotel while well, Melanie had the lamb shank. Mm -hmm. And so this is really good. Um, I really enjoyed the gravy on Melanie's. Oh yeah. The stew was really thick and it had a lot of broth flavor to it which was nice. Um, so I liked yours for the meatiness of the stew. Mine had a lot more fat which it has lots of flavor, but it's not my favorite part of any type of protein. Funny that we're actually talking about each other's food rather than our own. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> we eat our food and we like each other's more. So, we're going to be heading out <laughs> to the town. Uh, hopefully we find something interesting tonight, but we're going to be here for a couple of days, so we got a lot of time. Okay, so I apologize for being so dark, guys, but yeah, we're outside right now. We're just roaming around, <laughs> and Melanie, what did you just find out? Okay, guys, you have to know something. I love protein. I love meat. And chicken's probably one of my favorite next to the beef and steak. Uh, back home in Missouri, I loved KFC chicken a lot and Chick-fil-A. Well, when we moved to Illinois, there was no KFC around. And so even to this day, we can't really find a good KFC to eat. Uh, we're walking right now outside the hotel, just kind of browsing, and I look to our left and <laughs> what do we find? KFC. Um, so I kind of was surprised. And AJ is like freaking out over it because he's freaking out over the little thing. Okay, so to his defense, I did kind of have a weird face. I don't know what it looked like, but I just haven't had KFC in a long time. And I know we're in Ireland and not US, but I still probably will get KFC over here. So here we are inside the KFC in uh, Kilcuddy. And so. <laughs> So here we are in the KFC in Ireland and um, there was something called a Crush'em here and I was wondering what that is. Uh, we got ourselves an Oreo and Melanie has taken it upon herself to try it out for me before I dive in. So uh, Melanie, if you please. I, I, I sense a little bit of hesitation in your face. And mixed. Um, I taste the milky. I taste the Oreo. And I taste the crushed ice. So it's like it's like I'm having a fountain drink with crushed ice made out of milk and Oreo. It's not undesirable, but it's not something I would order again. Definitely not a smoothie, to say the least, or you know, a bit frosty. Oh okay. god. Oh, 
well. Same opinion? Yeah, it, it is definitely not the same as a uh, as a frosty or anything like that. So, crush them. Literally, milk, ice, and your topping of choice. Apparently, there's a um, there's a Skittles as well. So maybe it tastes a little bit better having a fruity having a fruity taste to it. But um, it got better. Apparently, it gets better as you drink it, just like alcohol. This is a friendly channel. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sad day. So we're back inside the room. You can see Melanie already trying to dig into the bag of KFC. And already try it? It's done. And the only reason why I'm filming this is because part of me hopes that a wave of despair hits her. That because it's <laughs> because if it's being Ireland KFC, it's going to be a completely different taste. But, you know, just in general, just to capture the moment, because she's already made so many priceless faces. She made at least, like, four ever since we got here in Ireland. So, I'm just trying to, you know, capture take the initiative. Moment. Take the initiative this time and actually record her face while she's enjoying. So, for the beginning, for the record, you do realize that according to your law of physics of how you live, you'll never get anything on tape the first time that you want it to. And when you are recording, nothing's going to happen. That's just your law of physics, AJ. <laughs> well, here we go. We'll see about that. Mm. Oh, it tastes good? Tastes like your KFC back at home? I don't remember KFC back home. It's been that long. What? <laughs> Seriously, like, it's been so long since we had KFC. I was literally telling you about KFC two days ago. About how I wanted chicken. And I missed KFC. And I was tempted to drive... 40 minutes just to get this KFC and you talk me out of it we're here in Kilkenny two days later and there's a KFC across the street four minutes walking yeah destiny um, and I try this I'm like it's it's really juicy and delicious yeah. and of course KFC spices man so there you go there you have it Melly gives a thumbs up on Ireland KFC so Maybe you people like KFC comment below yay Alright, so that's going to be it for tonight. Um, after we finish up this KFC, we're probably going to watch a small movie and then head out to sleep. And then tomorrow is going to be our big exploration day of the area of Kilkenny. And so till then, this is Coza the Cat. Me out. Night. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Apologize for talking over you, Shax. I was just mesmerized by my double jump. Um, on a rifle.